Hey friends, I took a break from creating content over here on YouTube for a few months now and now I'm coming back from my break <laughs> and we'll be looking at the upgrades that have been made on the ESA database since then, so keep watching. So we will dive back into the source code that we worked on in the tutorial and fix it to align with the latest version of ESA, which is 3.0.5. I prepared a list of fix me's, or you may call them to do's, <laughs> to guide us on what we are actually updating. And it consists of five brief tasks that we will easily complete. So first on will be the fix me number one on pubspec.yam which we will need to update the versions for, pack for the packages related to ESA database, which are ESA, ESA generator, and ESA flutter libs. If you head over to the pub.dev site, you'll view information on these packages. Uh, the ESA package is currently at version 3.0.5, and there's a pre-release of 3.0.6, but we will go with the latest stable version. On the change log tab for the ESA, data, ESA package on the pub.dev site as well, you'll find that a lot was changed in version 3.0.0. The version in our source code is 2.2.1, .2 uh, which is quite old, so we expect a number of errors once we update it. Yeah, and also the ESA Flutter Libs latest version is 3.0.5, and the ESA Generator is 3.0.5. We'll also update the build runner and the path provider so that all our packages are up to date. So back to our project, let's update the packages on pubspec.yam. Once it's saved, it will automatically update or you can, if it doesn't on your IDE, you can actually run the command flutter pub get. All right, so ESA will be 3.0.5. Is a generator will be 3.0.5. And then we have the ESA flutter, which will be 3.0.5. And the build runner will be 2.3.2. You can confirm that on the pub.dev site. And lastly, the path provider, which is still the same, 2.0.9. So let's just wait for a second for the update to be made. And it's done. So we have our packages updated. So the first fix is complete. Uh, and if we head over to our project, we expect a number of errors to appear. Um, let me refresh this exactly. So we have a number of errors to fix. So let's continue using the fix me list to go through them one by one. So we've already finished the first task, which was to update the versions of these packages. Next is an update in the second fix me, which is fix me number two. There is an update on the ESA.open function in terms of parameter. We no longer pass the directory path, which is this. Uh, however, according to the change logs, we are required to ensure that the path where the database will be hosted does exist. And to do that, we'll need to check if there that we created exists using the exist sync function. So there are two functions, there's the exist function and there's the exist sync function. Uh, for the exist, the reason we are using the exist sync, we'll be using the exist sync function and not exist is because exist is asynchronous while exist sync is synchronous. And since the project is fully dependent on the ESA database, we must first ensure that the path exists before any other operation is performed. If the ESA database was partially used in an app, for instance, to only store the profile information of a user in a financial app, we can check using exist without blocking other operations of the app from working. I hope that makes sense. So in our case, we'll use exist sync because we must ensure the path exists since everything in the app is riding on it. So let's update the new change. 
So we'll first remove the directory parameter. And then we just retain the only parameter that's required, which are the array of schemas. Mm -hmm. So that the error has gone. And then now the second thing we need to do is make sure that the directory that where the database will be hosted exists. So to do that, we'll just come here and say if dir dot exist sync. If it exists, that's when we create our instance. We open our, create our instance of Isa and run the app because everything to do with this app is dependent on the Isa. So it has to exist. All right, so we have, we're done with the second task, task which is fix me two. So let's head over in our next task, which is fix me three. In fix me three, um, we will find we are at on the category collection. Uh, there's a bug on the ID uh, annotation because a change was made. A new type was introduced to specify the ID property. Uh, so instead of using int, we'll use ID and remove the annotation. Yes. We'll do the same thing to the routine collection where we add the ID type and remove the ID annotation as well. So that's done in our next task, which involves um, fix me number four. Uh, so in our next task, um, we have an error on the right transaction function. This is because the function no longer requires us to pass the ESA parameter. And so we need to remove it. Uh, we'll do the same to this, the, the other. We'll be updating this in a few more places. So we remove the is a parameter. 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 So, and lastly, in our fix me is fix me number five, uh, which involves um, it involves the the topic on watchers. We talked about the watch function, which has the previous, uh, which is this, and we pass a parameter with a key initial return and set it as true. So, what has changed is that the term the word initial return has been changed to fire immediately, simply as that. And our error is out. Yeah. And with that, we have resolved all our bugs and our project is up to date. We can check on this. So the only error we have is on the generated files, which is category.g.dat and the routine.g.dat. And this is because there are changes that have been made on the routine.dat and category.dat. For us to solve this, we need to regenerate or recreate the generated files again. If you remember, we were using the Flutter 
the build runner to actually do that. So let's run the command that will regenerate these files again. So on the terminal, we'll enter flutter, build pub, run, build runner, build. This will take just a few seconds. Just take a few more seconds. We should experience uh, a bug, an error at the end, because it will not. It will find. Um, let's just give it a minute. Okay, so there's no error. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah. I thought there will be an error of conflict, but there is no error. And you, as you can see, all our errors have been resolved and the code is back on in session. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's good to be back. And I will be making more videos in relation to the great feedback from you, from suggestions to questions. So definitely stay tuned for that. There will be just a few more um, videos before we venture into other territories which is quite exciting so please don't forget to share subscribe and like that really means a lot and to access this lesson source files you'll find the link down below in the description also if you want to check out the code for a specific lesson head over to the ESA flutter tutorial repository and select a branch from the drop down if you want to download the zip folder of a particular lesson, go to the code and download zip. I really, really hope you enjoyed the series that you're that's this far. And I'll see you on the next one.